So how can being more compliant at borders also bring commercial advantages to companies? Many traders are not aware of the many risks involved and the costs involved in crossing a border. How to unlock the black box of the border because they don't see the iceberg of customs costs. Strategic customs planning can help you manage that by end-to-end -end, from origin to destination managing your flows in different ways through digital tools and trade compliance, making sure that you are aware exactly what is involved passing these borders through a journey in a supply chain. That means that you can also reduce your cost and every time your goods pass the border, but at the same time you can also increase your trade compliance in itself and avoid very costly risks over time. Own your own data. By owning your own customs data, managing it through a customs control tower, it doesn't matter what operational model you're using, you will be in charge of your own destiny when it comes to the customs journey through the supply chain from origin to destination. It will make your journey more compliant and by that you will save money on transactions and being able to reduce costs all through your value chain. Manage your supply chain partners. Choose them carefully, manage them over time, and make sure that they have the relevant permits, the relevant licenses and relevant statuses needed, the ones you need to have a resilient journey from a customs perspective. Also, when you change sourcing or you change different type of routing, it is important to know what's gonna happen at your markets. Strategic customs planning will help you do that. Own your trust, be a trusted trader. Trust is very important in the future of Global Trade 2.0. You will have to show that you are trade compliant. That will bring you resilience and predictability. And make sure that your trade compliance is visible through authorized economic operator statuses and other trusted trader programs. Connect those systems, make them digital so you can manage them in a cost-efficient way. Nobody wants to trade with the Titanic of customs, so avoid the iceberg in the future, do strategic customs planning. In the final episode of this series, I will talk about how the trade compliance and strategic customs planning not only brings you the benefits of having a more compliant, resilient and predictable journey through the supply chain and how that actually makes money for you, but I will talk about the elements that also support your sustainability journey and making this a really good win-win idea from a commercial point of view, but also from a society point of view.